Well, the U.S. Exploring Expedition was essentially the United States equivalent of the uh, voyages on behalf of England by Captain James Cook. One of the initial products of the expedition uh, was the penning of the five narratives, which basically follow a timeline of the expedition. We have some of the 17 scientific reports and uh, nine volumes of drawn plates that address the botany, zoology, the ethnology, the, ge the uh, geology, uh, hydrography, and uh, all of the scientific uh, product of the U.S. Exploring Expedition. And this particular one here is one of the three botany volumes, uh, this one penned by William Brackenridge that addresses all of the uh, ferns of the expedition. And as you go through here, oftentimes you'll see a notation that says Spunov, Latin for new species, and you'll see a description by Brackenridge of a new species of fern that was one of more than 750 new plant species that were described as a result of the expedition. This is one of the plates of one of the ferns, and these two volumes go together as a result. This particular fern, a polybotria, was named after Captain Wilkes by Brackenridge, and therefore the binomial, or the two-name scientific name of the plant, is Polybotria wilksiana. When we go upstairs, we can pull out of the collections that particular plant and uh, we can see for sure where it's from. I've just come from the public space within the museum into the west wing of the building, which houses the research collections of the Department of Botany. Here on the fourth floor, we see one half of the two floors of material that we manage and maintain. All told, we're looking at five million plant specimens. Each one of them is a record a record of this particular species in this place at this time. Together, they comprise a very rich picture of biodiversity around the planet. Now, we're coming into the middle of the collection on the fourth floor, and it's hard to tell sometimes the enormity of this place, but hopefully you'll, hopefully you'll get an impression of that. This is an example of the specimen. This is the type collection as well of the specimen we saw downstairs that was named after Wilkes, the Polybotria wilksiana. This is the fern described by Brackenridge and named for Wilkes. Uh, the collections that I'm responsible for, the botanical collections here in the museum, have as their basis the collections that resulted from this expedition. They returned in 1842. The institution was founded in 1846. And these collections formed the, uh, the, the basis of the biological collections within the Natural History Museum that we have now. Among the 4,400 herbarium cabinets that we have here in the herbarium, all of the Wilkes specimens have been found throughout the collection and brought together into a single place. Each one of them has been placed in a special folder called a microchamber folder. Uh, also on this specimen, you'll see both the original label, a handwritten label from the field, the barcode, the catalog number, and an annotation slip. Now each one of these specimens has been databased and has been digitally imaged. And those images will be available on our website like so many of the others that are currently there. American History TV's American Artifacts takes viewers behind the scenes at archives, museums, and historic sites. You can view more American Artifacts programs online at cspanvideo.org.